something a bit different today. A little bit of flower photography, not so much macro, but flower photography. I love flowers and insects that are shot with a black background. I, I don't like doing it in Photoshop or anything like that. It's, well, that's because I don't know how to do it, but I prefer the old traditional features and the bees around here. Are big, 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 big. Yeah. Take two. I'm going to photograph this bluebells and I'm going to make the background black. Do it in Photoshop and all these other software things like Lightroom, but I don't like doing them in there. Well, for one, I don't know how to do it. But two, I like to use flash, a little bit of flash. So uh, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to take this picture with using just a flash, camera on manual mode, flash on manual mode. So first thing to do is get the aperture now, my aperture is sitting at f11, and I'm going to bring the shutter speed to the exposure that I want. So at the moment it's saying 30th of a second. I'm going to pre-focus, and then I'm going to set the camera to manual. So now it's in manual focus. Now it's at 30th of a second. Yeah, so that's not going to make the background black here even the little bit of wind and the flowers moving makes no difference so what I'm going to do now is I'll see the exposure I'm now going to turn my shutter speed until I can't see the flower whatsoever so now I'm going to bring up my shutter speed 60th 80th 100 I've taken it all the way now to one thousandth of a second f11 on the back of the screen it's black I can't see nothing yeah the flash is still off at this point. As soon as I turn the flash on, I can see the preview because it's a mirrorless camera as well. So that, and I mean mechanical, so you need to put it in mechanical as well um, on some cameras. So what I'm going to do is I've set the shutter to a two second timer. I can see the flower. I'm going to take a shot, but I'm going to put the flash here, around about here. So I'll take a picture. I'll preview that. That looks really good. I really do like that. I'll put the picture up now if you can see that. So just to precap what I was doing here, I'll turn the flash off. I bring the cameras in manual mode. The shutter's on a two times, uh, two, two second exposure uh, on a timer. You could do that with a remote, whatever you like. So. I'm going to bring down my shutter speed until I can see the flower. I can see the flower now on the back of my screen. It's saying 30th of a second, F11, which I'm actually going to take up to F14. Yeah, we know all about diffractions and everything where it comes to flash and depth of field, but I'm not too worried about that. You know, the subject's far away. So I know that anything between here and two, three foot away is not going to be in the shot anyway. So I'm suited at 30th of a second. I'm going to bring up my shutter speed until I cannot see that plant at all. So again, I'm at 12, 1,250 now. I can't see the back of the screen. I can't see the flower now. It's gone. So I'm going to turn the flash on. And I can see it there. And I'm going to take a picture. Uh, so that's how simple it is and how easy it is to get a subject now you can do this on any flower you can do it on insects on a flower like a bee because you're using a fast shutter speed so it's freezing the object so you're not actually waiting for the subject to pause and just a ordinary flash this is a sony one this is one of their cheapy ones it, you just need light i use the cable to so i can move this around if you like this sort of stuff let me know and uh Enjoy the video. Thank you very much.